hello welcome to ss unitech susil this side and today we are going to see about the azure data factory restart ability from the point of failure so what does it mean so in the ssis we have seen about the checkpoints so checkpoints we can implement inside the ssis so your package will be going to start executing at the point of the failure but inside the azure data factory we don't have the option for the checkpoints so for example we will be going to have like three activities like activity 1 activity 2 and activity 3 and we want to execute all these activities in sequential order so for example if your activity 2 got failed then we don't want to execute the activity 1 again so as it got executed successfully in the first execution and we got the error on the second activity so we just want to execute our pipeline at the point of failure which is the activity 2 so this is very important because let's assume your pipeline is having total 100 activities and 95 activities got executed successfully and we got an error on the activity 96 then it's not very good to execute everything again we just want to start the execution of your pipeline at the activity 96 so it will be going to execute remaining the activities so how we can do that inside the azure data factory we will see in this video so let me go into the browser so here we are having this input folder on the blob storage of the file which is the customer details dot csv file so we just want to copy the file from the input container to the output folder so this is the primary thing we need to do in between we will be going to use the wait activities so in this video our main focus to start the execution of your activity at the point of failure so let me try to implement this copy data activity first so let me try to add a new pipeline and let me call this pipeline as checkpoints and after that let me try to use the copy data activity here so this copy data activity will be going to copy the file from input to output folder as i have already created the source and sync data sets for this so the source data set which is the ds customer let me try to open so i can show you that so this is pointing to input folder of the customer details dot csv file let me go into the sync and here let me select the ds customer sync so this is pointing to output folder so this is we have done for the copy data activity let me try to use the wait activity here at the starting and at the end as well so as of now if we are going to execute this so it will be going to execute successfully as we are having the file at the source location so let me try to execute by trigger so we will be going to see this will be executing successfully so we can wait we can go into the monitor tab and under this monitor tab under these triggers we can see let me try to refresh so we will be going to see so here as we can see this is the latest run which got succeed so let me quickly go again into this and now go to the input blob storage and here let me try to delete this file so once we will be going to delete this file your pipeline execution will fail so let me try to execute this again so this time your pipeline execution should be failed because your source did not have the file so here as we can see this pipeline got failed if we can see the error then error is saying your blob is not available as we can see let me maximize this so here we can see the required blob is missing so it is indicating your source file is not there so let me quickly go into the input folder and let me try to upload the file so 
that the customer file so let me click on upload this so it will be going to upload it as we can see let me go here so as we have seen already let me try to go inside this execution of this pipeline so here we can see the wait one is completed with success copy data got filled and wait two need to be executed so we don't want to execute it again from the wait activity which is the wait one so here in the top side we can see the rerun option so rerun will be going to rerun this pipeline again rerun from activity if we can select then we can see the option rerun from activity if we can see the third option which is the more important that is the rerun from failed activity so if we will be going to execute it from here so only copy data one and wait activity two will be executing so this is in progress let me try to refresh it we can see this so as we can see the wait so here we can see it is indicating skipped the status we can see below side so why we are having this skipped here because it got executed successfully in the first run let me go into the monitor all pipeline run and after that let me try to refresh it here we can see the success let me click on this so now we will see like the first which is the wait activity is skipped if you can see the status below side as well then that is skipped copy data one is executed and wait activity is executed so this is the only way by which we can execute your pipeline at the point of failure so this is very good if you are having a lot of activities on your pipeline so instead of executing all the activities again you can go and execute at the point of failure so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video